Hello people, so we are back out on the lake for another Sunday morning fishing adventure. So I am absolutely buzzing to be back out fishing. We've had nothing but terrible winds for the last two weeks. It's just been too rough to even get out on the lake. Um, so this is my first time on the boat since the last trout competition. Um, so we have another trout competition today with the club, but I'm not going to take that too seriously. I'm just out for a bit of fun. Um, there's supposed to be strong winds later on in the day, so we might have to come in early. We might only get three or four hours of fishing. Um, but look, we're going to make the most out of it while we can. We're going to enjoy the day. So I'm out here on my lake boat. My, my boat's a 19 to Sheelan. I know a lot of lads ask in the comments. Um, I have a really basic setup. I like to keep it basic on this boat and uh, it seems to work anyway. And uh, I absolutely love this boat. I'll be honest, I absolutely love it. So I'm going to be spinning for trout and trolling for trout. Um, mostly spinning when the wind picks up. I enjoy the spinning, I'll be honest. I like the trolling as well, but the spinning is really exciting. Um, I'll show you the setups that I have with me there today. So I have two setups. I use these Robinson Toshido uh, 60 20 gram rods. Um, I get them from Wild Hunter. They're really, really good rods, eight foot in length. It's really fun to fight a trout on a rod like this. Um, my reel is a Shimano Vanford, two and a half thousand size uh, high gear, and I use 0 0.1 uh, Daiwa J braid as the braid with a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I have a second rod. It's basically the exact same, but I have a, a reel here of a Daiwa Ninja, two and a half thousand size high gear, extra high gear, and uh, the same braid, same rod. Uh, I have fish two rods when I'm fishing for trout. I bring one spare as well, um, just in case something goes wrong, you need a spare rod in the boat. And uh, yeah, simple as that, lads. I'll show you a quick layout of the boat. So as we get onto the boat here, I have my engine. I use a basic enough fish finder, it's a seven inch uh, Humminbird Helix. Uh, it does the mapping inside imaging, it's all you really want. Um, I use these Scotty Power Lock rod, ho rod holders. We have them in Wild Hunter as well. I use four of them on the boat just to have a sp spread if I want to spread out the, boat, the rods. There's my battery box um, for the, just for the small fish finder. Um, my measuring board is down here for the competition. Uh, number 16 is competition today. Two lure boxes. It's very easy to bring too many lure boxes when you're trout fishing, but two is enough, you know. You can only fish two lures at a time. Um, so from there, what else do I have to show you? I bring the small trout net and then the big the big pike net and you have a chance to get something big and you need to stick them into the net but yeah that's the basic setup i bring a waterproof bag as well because it's ireland it's going to rain at some stage keep the stuff dry i have a small tripod there just in case i'll take a few pictures but yeah that's the setup lads we're going to get out fishing it's enough talking before the wind picks up we'll do a rest catch a few fish and uh, i'll show you what i'm doing along the day so make sure to hit that like button now all set ready to go Have the coffee. The angler. I love this little mug. So let's make our way out onto the lake. So I like to keep the fish finder on map and side scan just so I can find a bit of structure and follow the contours. Um, basic enough for the trout. A lot of the time I don't even bring the fish finder when I'm fishing for trout. Um, it's just more of a tool than anything to help you. So let's go. Okay, so we're going to start off with a smaller paddle, on this rod anyway, and uh, get out behind the boat, start with a bit of trolling, find the fish. I'm not going to fish it too far back. Okay, the drag. Alright lads, we're into the first fish of the day. I have no idea how big he, or small he is. He just hit it there behind the boat. I don't think he's very big. in the net, so it's a good start. So there's the first one of the day. Trout number one, drop him back. There he goes. Get the clicker going. 
number one, we're off the mark. Good start. Now, so we're going to try a bit of spinning. I'm going to be drifting in on the shoreline in about three, four, five meters, looking for some trout on the hunt. Spinning can be a really fun way of catching them, so let's try catch one. Yes, got our trout. Now guys, second trout of the day, got this one spinning. He's not the size we want, but it's a lovely fish to get. There he goes. Let's get back fishing. Hopefully he's a bit bigger, I don't think so. No, he's another small fish. Another small lad. We get one hook quickly. So there's trout number three. It's actually the smallest one of the day so far. Lovely wild trout. See you buddy. Let's try to get a bigger one now. Is a fish. No, oh. no, guys, child number four going back. There he goes. Fish on. Oh, no, I lost him. Oh no. Hey guys, fish on. This is on the little gunky lure. Doesn't feel massive. It's quite a small fish, I'd say. Yeah, tiny little trout. Where are all the big ones today? Come on, lads. There he is in the net. No, fish number five. A bit of brownie. Ooh. Oh, that guy's 
six. There he goes. So guys, we're gonna wrap it up here. The weather, just absolute nightmare. Um, we got a few fish today, loads of small fish, and unfortunately we lost the bigger fish that we hooked. Um, we did hook two fish, I'd say they were 40 centimeter plus, maybe around 50 centimeters, but they came off, so they don't count. Um, got loads of small fish, it's always a good sign. I'm um, spinning and trolling, mostly actually spinning today. I put in a lot of effort with the spinning. My arm is absolutely dead, casting there for, I don't know, five or six hours, and it's, it's tough going. It's tough going, especially when the weather's like that. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video, lads. Um, I don't know what the footage is going to come out like because it was just, it's just really windy. <laughs> but um, hopefully it came out all right. Uh, leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it. Drop a comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you out here next time.